from NASA. Researchers say temperatures in the Pacific Ocean are warming, snuffing out the weather pattern that has brought us wetter winters the last couple of years. So with La Nina gone, what does this mean for our weather? Well, not a whole lot, actually. It's <laughs> more rain. Well, the, the reason is that La Nina mainly affects us in the winter. And this last winter didn't really it affect us. Bad. No, it really wasn't. So it's not a spring or summertime event. Uh, we are pretty much on normal course. And for us, that means wet. Let's take a look outside. We'll use one of our Department of Transportation cameras and look at uh, I-5 now at the Boeing Access Road. I always like to do this just to give you a sense that uh, well, if you have to drive out there tonight, uh, the streets look uh, awfully wet and awfully slick. And that's exactly what you're going to encounter tomorrow morning is uh, streets that look like this, I'm sorry to say. But let's get to the specifics. It is at this point out at SeaTac, mostly cloudy, 45 degrees, got a south wind at 14, 2970, rising barometer, half an inch of rain. And most of that, I think, fell right around 1030 today. Well, that was really a downpour at that point. We have 81 for the record, set back in 1987. However, today, we topped out at 52 degrees. And my friends, that is 10 degrees. Uh, you can do the math, yes, below our normal high temperature. So this is some pretty chilly air, relatively speaking. Early warning Doppler radar shows we're still streaming a lot of moisture here into the Northwest. Let's take a little bit of a closer view here. And you can see the areas that are kind of getting it right now uh, over in Bremerton, across the Sound, up into Linwood. Got a bit of a break right now over downtown Seattle, but these showers are gonna be with us for a while. In fact, we're probably talking several days before it all starts to clear off. And this is all because we've got some rather cool, unstable air, and there's also some circulation, and that's what kind of fires up these weather systems and gets them going. At the same time, a lot of this stuff is pointed almost directly at us, maybe just a little bit south of the city so it's in the neighborhood and going to be here with us so let's just go ahead and call it showers tonight overnight lows will be in the lower 40s so cool again 44 seattle 42 in tacoma on the east side temperatures in the low to mid 40s bellevue 44 45 in renton so tomorrow essentially more of the same we've got showers a couple of sun breaks maybe and that risk of a thunder shower later in the day Highs will be in the lower 50s, 53 in Seattle, 52 in Renton, up in the foothills also in the lower 50s again. The showers with a chance of thunder showers. We'll do the same thing in Victoria and Port Angeles and Mount Vernon and Everett, although even cooler with highs over in the lower 50s, 54 in Longview and the same in Portland and 54 in Long Beach. You see all the lightning going. That might look a little bit more ominous than it really is, but the chance is definitely there tomorrow. So we're Kind of letting you know, uh, snow level 3,500 feet up in the Cascades. That's kind of low. And then east of the Cascades, also a risk of thunder showers, also relatively cool. Let's face it, downright cold for friends uh, east of the mountains who are used to 65 and 70 for this time of year. Here's a quick look at the national situation. If you're traveling, looks great in the west, no problems. And this is where it's hot. Look at that. And also back east, uh, maybe some delays in Washington, D.C. and New York because of thunder showers. Keep that in mind. Occasional showers here tonight, uh, mostly cloudy spot showers tomorrow morning in the afternoon. Well, we've detailed all that. What you want to know is how much longer. Let's take a look. I, I think we're going to get a break. I'm still liking something for our weekend that will look at least a little bit like last weekend, and that wasn't too bad. So we'll take it, get those highs back up in the 60s, and give you a little sunshine, give you a chance to dry out. That would be We're going to need nice it by then. Yeah, this Jeez. is really, this is really chilly. The webs are back. Thank yeah, you. The go. Mariners try to bounce back from last night's trouncing in Texas. Coming up, tonight's Little Heroes get inspiration from some of their big heroes. Work is stressful enough. South at 24 miles per hour, and the Hoquiam, or uh, rather Grays Harbor, had one earlier than that range as well. And in Snohomish County, well, we're talking about not as much wind, but plenty of rain out there, and that's county. Afternoon, more likely. Of our conditions around the area at 11 o'clock, the temperatures look like this: a very cool night with, uh, well, mostly in the mid 40s, mid to upper 40s, you could say. But so many readings at 45. Stampede in the Cascades at 4,000 feet is at 30. But we have 45 at Everett, 48 at Whidbey, 46 in Bellingham, 45s also down the I-5 from Seattle through Tacoma and Olympia and up to Bremerton, and in the upper 40s around the Grays Harbor area. 52 and 44 the high today. Normally 10 degrees warmer on the high at 62. Didn't set a record though. The coldest day today is 50 degrees on this date, the coldest low high, and that was set in 1986. The record high, oddly enough, would have been the next year, 1987, when they went to 81. How do you like that? And 38 is the record low. That's just one year old. Climatology is very interesting. The mold spores are moderate. 
you know, other categories are low in our pollen count, and I'm glad to see that. Sorry about the mold, though. And this uh, westerly flow across the Pacific continues to push the showers. This is the upper level low, and that moisture band is aiming just nicely at us. So we're going to get some showers and thunder showers, and you'll find them in the mountains as well. It could be rain or snow or hail or lightning or a combination thereof with the afternoon highs near 32 and the snow level at 3,000 feet tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. Highs again about 50 to 55 with a showery, thunder showery day, thunder showers in the afternoon. Coast really won't do any different, and if you think there's going to be much of a banana belt tomorrow, well, I don't think you'll get that in this type of situation. Then we may get a little bit of a, a, a rain shadow off the Olympics, but temperatures are going to be cool all across the western part of the state. Cool showers tonight, lows 40 to 45, rather brisk winds. Tomorrow morning, showers in the 40s, and in the afternoon, showers, breezy, possible thunder showers, and the temperatures in the five-day, seven-day period are not really going to get much better, though the rain just tapers off to scattered showers Friday, and Saturday not looking bad, but Sunday I think we'll get the rain in before the day is over, and that'll keep us on the wet track for next early next week anyway. Harry, thanks. The Mariners win big in Texas tonight. It was quite a show. You'll see it. And this guy may have a, oh my, a sore neck tomorrow. Tony has the story next. Get defensive, Mr. Pearson. You're not the problem here. Sonicare's sonic technology uses 31,000 brush strokes per minute and removes nearly twice as much. That's right, Randy, and uh, as you mentioned about the precipitation, we can see on our map here where that probability of precipitation is as well. Uh, some rather active weather is expected along the St. Lawrence and even the possibility of some thunder showers. Mm -hmm. Or thunderstorms. It's certainly been the history.